Okay, back again with another video. Just getting ready for lunch in just a couple minutes here. Just some burritos and salsa and that kind of fun stuff. So, and uh, a pretty good drink here. The Sparkling Energy. Uh, steady Energy from Black and Green Tea Strawberry Kiwi V8. These were three for a dollar at the grocery outlet, so I had to grab some of those. And uh, I got a package from Two Bros Sports Cards. I didn't think it was going to come today, but it sure did. So we'll get to that in just a minute here. And then we have uh, some free books here. We'll start off with the free books here. Saw this one here. It was funny because one of the books I donated had an autograph in it. I should have grabbed it and cut out the autograph and used it to cut or gifted it off to somebody, but I didn't think of that. Uh, but it's still there. It's a book that nobody's going to want. Uh, the Great International Math Book, or Math on Keys book, it's put out by uh, Texas Instruments Learning Center there. Old vintage 70s era type book about old calculators, I'm not really sure. I have a nephew that might like that book. I don't know, the pages are starting to fall apart towards the back, but it was free. Had to grab it. If I don't keep it, then I will get rid of it. Then I found this book here called Boxer Shorts, the ultimate underwear joke book here. That was, again, free. I uh, have a couple of VCR tapes here I got from that particular thrift store. One of them, I, uh, I wished I had it here. I don't have it here. Um, that's what I, when I do my videos, I said, you know what, let's leave half of the stuff that I want to show off in the video in another room where I can't get to it or still leave it in the car downstairs. So I found a, a VCR tape, um, Howie Long was a star in it. So I said, anything that, uh, any movie that stars an old ex-football player as the as a star, that's worth it to me to grab it for 50 cents or whatever. What do you call a man who forgets to put on his underpants? Nickerless. What? Nickerless? Oh, that's a dumb joke. Um, what kind of dessert can you eat in your underwear? Shortbread? What? What do the silk underwear say to the Cotton Braves? Slip around, you might learn something. What? Oh, these are not good jokes. Let's see if I can find one here. What are the best an initials for comfy sleeping? PJ? What? I don't get it. What do you call bright yellow PJs? Banana pajamas? Oh, that's not what I would call them. What do you call indoor shoes that help you slide? House slippers? Oh, let's find a, a other one here. Why did the cheap boxer short salesman do so well? Because he undercut the competition? Uh, what do you, do you wear in... What... Where do you wear the swimsuit that you've wanted to wear all year? The, in the waiting pool? What? What do you call... Oh, no, that's dumb. Um, why did the sailor want his underwear to ride low so that people could see his navel? <laughs> I'm serious. Why did the sailor want his, wear his underwear to ride low so people could see his navel? Oh, my gosh. What do wolves think of boxer shorts jokes? They think they're a howl. Uh, I don't know. Uh, why, did, why do you call it when your boxer shorts get caught on a nail? Under tear? Oh, that is really dumb. Really dumb. Um, and then one more book here. And speaking of naval, no, this is Marine. This is Marine Corps uh, Recruit Depot, San Diego, California. So somebody's, you know, yearbook or whatever. That was in the free pile. Books don't sell anymore. If you try to sell books, you're, you're um, losing money. Um, they just, you know, 50 cents a dollar, sometimes they have these things for more than that, you know, based on whatever. And they just don't even process the books, they just throw them out in the free box because their shelves are full. They might sell a couple of dollars worth of books every day, but that's about it. Um, it shows everybody in here, so if there's anybody locally or interesting, I might show you someday. But there's all the marine recruits there, so that's very, very interesting there. Kind of a cool free book there. Now let's get into the Two Bros Sports cards. Uh, Two Bros... Yeah, Two Bros Sports out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Um, didn't say it was coming anytime soon, but it arrived today, so that's great. And these are just base cards here. So if you buy a certain amount, there's something like 45% or something off each card here. Check our new website, uh, TwoBrosSports.com. Take advantage of this exclusive offer and get 15% off store-wide. Use Shop15 at checkout, so you can use that at checkout there, Shop15. So there's that one, all that good stuff there. I bought from them before. There's only one order that ever got lost. Now some of these cards were no rhyme or reason, but they were dirt cheap. I, th I think they were all like, you know, a dollar and then 45% um, off. We'll see what we have here. Some of these are set pickups. And again, even as cheap as they are, they're sometimes they're still overpaying. But what they do is a lot of box breaks, I guess, and these are probably what's left over. Um, but we have a Rediscover Tops on the top one here. This is an infamous player here. I don't think he's currently living anymore. I think he had um, uh, some sort of 
uh, drug issues. Uh, he was notorious for that. Um, worked his way back into baseball only to get kicked out again. But this is Steve Howe, Rediscover Tops 84 uh, to Tops set there. And it's the bronze edition there. That was dirt cheap. I had to grab that one. I just had to. That's a very, um, that was an iconic card for me back in the day because that was one of the first Dodger cards I had. But he always had this kind of creepy look like, you know, like he was like, you know, uh, kind of a druggie. I, I really don't know. Then we got this one here. This was only, this was nothing. This was a dollar or something like that. Um, actually, it was less than a dollar. It was numbered to 199 Troy Tulowitzki on the Blue Jays. I know several people who probably want that card. I'm not sure I'm sending it out to them, but we shall see. But it's numbered to 199 I found that, that one. There was a um, 19 out of 199 if that's what I'm saying. It's either 10 or 19 the foil stamp is kind of messed up there, but anyway, very, very cool to get a numbered card for less than a dollar here. Then we got a Goodwin Champions LeBron James, just because it's a LeBron James um, in his street clothes here. Allen and Ginter, that a lot of people are these days are saying that they miss it, but uh, there's a number of people say they wouldn't touch it with a 10-foot pole. And boo to those guys. National Potato Chip Day card there. Could get that autographed by somebody, I don't know who. And then we have Nas International Coffee Day. Uh, so that'd be kind of cool. You can get one of those Phillies, you know, that had a cup of coffee to sign that. Um, then we got this cool archives or something satchel page. So that's really not my first satchel page card there. That's very cool. That was very dirt cheap with the 87 design there. Then we have Kadel Coconix for Star Wars. I didn't have this one here, so I grabbed that one. In real life, that's Carrie Fisher's daughter, I wanted to believe. I forget, uh, Billy Lord, I think that's who that is. There's another one there. These look the same, but they're different varieties. It's the same, more or less the same picture, but different colors and different font on the bottom of there, so I grabbed a couple of those. I don't think I'll get all our cards. Um, and then we got some uh, pickups here, mostly for the uh, 2017, I think it is, um, Heritage set. I'm never going to finish that set. Josh Hader. So these cost more than they probably should here, but people are asking a lot of money for commons these days. We got uh, Pierce. Pierce does damage with a four-run RBA night. I don't know who this is. Somebody Pierce. I thought it was Pence, but it's Pierce. I don't know. Pierce on the... I don't know who Pierce is. Absolutely no idea. Uh, then we got Adam Conley. Don't know who he is either. Adam Conley. We got Josh Bell. Uh, I grabbed numbers that, of course, I did not have. Johan Camargo. Don't know who he is either. Should I know who these people are? CJ Crone. We have Andrew Heaney. Haney, Heaney. None of these are short prints. None of them. And then we have Ben Attendee's Benediction. And it was a very small order. I thought I had more than that, but that's what I've got here. And the last one here is Ferris Wheel. 2007 Allen & Ginter Ferris Wheel. So very, very cool there. So that's just, you know, again, some base cards there. But I got the Steve Howe, the Trulowitzki, the LeBron James, a couple of... Um, Fun, fun, um, you know, National Day or whatever, International Days. I got the Satchel Page, a few Star Wars cards. I just wasn't feeling it, but I wanted to, um, the other thing is that uh, you used to have to buy 25 cards or something to get that particular uh, discount, but I was getting that with less purchases. So very, very cool to have those. So some stuff to put in binders, probably take me 15 minutes and then I'll be done and I'll have to have some more fun. So that's what came in today. Sent off an 8x10 request. Uh, what else did I do? I don't know, a couple other things that I can't think of right now, but anyway, that's what I have for you, and thank you for watching.